part of the Hollywood community for a while. We, we the New York the, Hollywood well, community. New York Hollywood, <laughs> but we, we heard the sad news on the way that Roger Ebert. I know, I just saw that. Yeah. And young, I mean, he's 70. Yeah. And he thought, it's, I, it's I mean, tragic. Yeah, or, or fond memories of so many movies that he reviewed. Well, I, I mean, I, I remember it was Siskel and Ebert. I mean, he, it, it's been ages since he died. I, it's so sad. I mean, I feel for their family. He was a young guy. And you know, and I loved, they always had, they always had great things to say about films, I always loved their input. You know, I don't think there's anyone who doesn't know who he is or um, hasn't, you know, followed him in one way or another and it's very sad news. I'm so sad about that because, you know, when I, I'm not an American, I didn't grow up here, but when I did come here to university more than 30 years ago, he and his colleague were the film critics that we all had to pay attention to. And today, to hear that news is very sad, particularly for all of us who love movies, who love American culture, and who realize the huge power of what America has to offer. He was the one who really always said it straight. If it wasn't any good, he said it. If it was good, he said it. And we all took our lead from him. So what is the vibe inside when all these powerful women are together? It's just a lot of great positive energy because they're all exchanging their ideas. I mean, we had last night a wonderful uh, Zainab Zabi from Iraq talking to, you know, Shoma Chowdhury from India. And these two women were just going at it and they had so much in common. Their, their cultures are so different, yeah. but they also had so much to share. It was very exciting. It's where we go to plug in our enthusiasm. Because the easiest thing to do is lose heart when you, you read some of the, the stories. And it's, it's really important to mutually... Uh, plug in and to plug in and know you can do so much to actually augment the efforts of women who are doing incredible things. I love how the Women of the World Summit really tells real women's stories and highlights real women's issues around the globe, and they do it in such a way that's you know very dignified and very revealing. And I definitely left last year feeling very inspired.